You know, I used to watch kids skateboard on St. George Street, which is kind of cool, mm -hmm. you know, because obviously St. George is the Dragon Slayer. And that's the street I work on, which I think is quite funny. And anyways, these kids used to, you know, they're teenagers, young teenagers. We had these long bar hand railings going down some shallow stairs, but a fairly good flight of them, and they would board slide down these rails. It's crazy. And they didn't have much protective gear on, and, you know, and eventually this, the university put up things to stop them, you know, from doing this. Like, I, I liked watching those kids. I like watching skateboarders do those crazy things because they're trying to become competent. Like, and they're, they're facing danger. They don't want the damn protective gear. Like, sometimes it's just stupidity. It's like, wear a damn helmet, you know? But sometimes it's not. It's like, no, I don't want to wear a helmet. I want to expose myself to this danger. It's not that I'm stupid. I'm facing the danger. I'm trying to master it. And if you watch kids board slide down like handrails, if you don't think that that's courageous and maybe stupid, those two things aren't so easy to distinguish, but it's brave. And when they do it, it's like amazing. It's, it's impossible to do that. You jump in the air, you grab your skateboard, you balance on this stupid rail, you slide for 20 feet. The price for failure is, well, you do the splits on the rail. That's not fun. Like, and the kids are often shooed away. It's like, wait a sec, they're, they're practicing being courageous. They're practicing mastering something in the face of danger. You know, and a lot of the rebellious behavior of young men in particular, which is very frowned upon in the schools. It's like, that's toxic masculinity, you know, that horrid, horrid phrase. Mm -hmm. It's like, leave those damn kids alone. And they go out there and you know, you watch them, you feel it in your body because you're mimicking them physiologically. You see that everything they do is that much farther out into chaos than anything they've ever done. Right? They're pushing themselves to the absolute limit of their ability. And everyone's like this because you tell with every gesture that they're that close to making a mistake. And so they've taken this courageous step beyond their competence mm -hmm. and put everything on the line. And then when they land, they land in a way that's unlike perfect. They, yeah. It's perfect plus. And everybody immediately leaps to their feet and like they get a chill, right? And it's the same chill, your hair stands on end. It's the same chill that a mouse has when it looks at a wolf. The mouse puffs up, it's mm -hmm. awe. And so what you've just seen is awe-inspiring because you've seen someone courageously move past perfection into the unknown and, and not only ennoble themselves more, but to ennoble humanity itself.